Hi, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if, if, you, if you're new here, go to my homepage, check out my little trailer, it's about a minute and a half, and it'll tell you about my channel. Well, today I received uh, a package today from Amazon. And I think I know what's in it. You probably do too if you've read the uh, description. But let's get to it, we'll open this thing up, and we'll test it. So we got the battery box. You guys probably already knew it was a battery. The the box was did have a little spot here, um, taped up really well. Um, I can't really see any other damage. So let's open this up and see how it looks. So it's in some bubble wrap. I don't have to worry about this battery because it's sealed. So we can set it any direction we want. Don't poke yourself. All right. Yeah, looking it over. I don't see any any problems anywhere. Looks pretty good. Looks like pretty well made. There's your specs on it: 12.8, 36 amp hour, uh, 460.8 watt hours. Miati is what I would. That's how I pronounce it. Um, model LFP, 36 amp hour, advanced cell design, long life cycle, environmentally friendly, lightweight, and uh, a lower self discharge. It says. Uh, Caution, store at 85% capacity and recharge every six months. Do not store above 60 degrees, 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not short circuit, crush, mutilate, reverse polarity, disassemble, or dispose of in a fire. Okay, pretty much all know that. Has uh, two screws on top. You got your negative, your positive. The, the positive is marked with red. Um, I don't think it's vented all, so let me uh, let me grab a a uh, multimeter and we'll just check out what the charge is on this thing. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if it's focusing on me or the battery. I can't really tell. Just another view of it. So I've got my um, multimeter here. Set on 20 volts. Hit the positive side. Hit the negative side. 13.29. Let me set that up here for you. Okay, 13.29 volts. So that was a pretty good charge. Um, I've heard uh, a few people with some of the other sizes getting their batteries and not having much voltage, and then you have to kind of trick it into charging. That's the problem with these lithiums. What do I, from what I've heard, if you take a another lithium battery that is um, discharged some, hook it to the charger, and then hook this one up with it in line, um, then it'll start the charger, and then you can start charging this, and then you disconnect the other one. I think that's how it was done. I think Mike, if you look at uh, Mike K M R D, he has quite a bit of info on batteries. I think so. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to charge this. I always like the charge, even though it looks charged, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on the charger. Then we'll hook it up to a radio and uh, we'll go up the scale. I'll probably start at like 20 watts or something and then we'll work our way all the way up to 100 and see how it works. If it works good, then hey, I've got a good backup battery um, and it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to work for my refrigerator and my, and my uh, Forerunner. I did that with my 30 amp hour one night because uh, my battery on my Forerunner wasn't, wasn't up to par. Um, and and the next morning it was still 13.1 volts. So let me charge this, then we'll set it up on a radio, 
and we'll see how it works. All right, I just uh, decided I would uh, bring you to the page where I bought the battery off of Amazon, and then uh, there'll also be a link down below. So here's the battery here. Um, regular price is one hundred nine ninety nine, but also they have nine twenty four to deliver, which is still a really good deal. So about less than one hundred twenty bucks in uh, uh, here. Just goes on to tell about the, uh, I should have measured this for you guys, but here it is 7.7 .7 by 5.2 by 6.3. That's length, width, and height. And uh, it's 9.5 pounds. If I get a chance, I'll try to do, uh, I'll weigh it for you too and see if it. Uh, my scale says the same. I don't know if my little scale goes that high or not. But uh, here's all the info. Um, just gives you all the different and this is this is kind of weird because this is actually the top of the battery here when I first looked at it I thought I was on the side but it's not uh, shows you how many cycles in comparison with the lead acid battery so you get 300 versus uh, 2000 cycles extremely lightweight won't catch fire uh, no poisonous lead harmful sulfur care acid uh, in environmentally friendly I don't, I don't know how, how good a battery can be friendly for our environment, but once it's discarded there. So there's uh, there's all the info. All the info's on that page. I just wanted to show it to you. Um, usually ships, it says, within six to ten days. Mine, mine came pretty fast. It was only a few days. So, all right, we'll get back to it, and then we'll do some testing on this thing. Well, we'll start at 40. And we'll see what this thing puts out. This is a couple of buddies of mine. They're in San Diego. Pretty much talk anytime. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. I didn't know about the gentleman. Well, that's a nice thing to say there. I'm uh, only running 40 watts right now. How come? I'm videoing you guys. Oh. Okay, well, good morning, Chuck. Sorry, I had it on the You're high scale. about portable antennas. Yeah, I was just trying to get, uh, so, uh, at 50 watts, it looks like it's putting 50 watts. I'm on the Miati this morning. Oh, oh, you're at 10 over 9. Okay, now that's about 70 watts. Looks like it's still getting 70, so, so far so good. Well, I was hoping you'd uh, run that battery through its paces. Well, this is a quick one, and 100 watts, putting out 100, just like off my uh, power supply. So, it is supplying the power here. So, I'll talk to you guys for a little while here and do two things at once. Oh, well, that's what you do best, do two or three things at once, Chuck. Uh, Jim, I'm sure you're here in Chuck. Nice signal this morning, Chuck. How are you? Doing good, Jim. W1WI. So, I'm running my FTDX 3000, which I would usually never use on a POTA or portable. I had the 991 for that. And uh, I'm sure this thing draws a little more power than most portable radios, and it seems to be doing fine. Probably not much more on 100 watts as far as that goes, but on just when it's setting still at idle listening, it would probably run a little more power. Maybe not. So that's just showing how much power out my radio says it's doing. Oh yeah, that's expensive. Yep, he said they're very expensive. I can see the up when he uses it home. So I'm on my FTDX 3000, which my buddy said pulls about two amps, so it's about a little over double what an 891 would do. So that just gives you, and I've been on here for let's see, half an hour so far, and uh, I will check the battery voltage at the end. And my output's still right at 100 watts, just like I would be with my uh, power supply in the shack here. Okay, here's the uh, battery hooked up. I didn't show that to you. I just have some Anderson power poles coming off of the top of it. And just run into the back of the radio. Okay, it's been an hour now. Been talking pretty much on and off for the, I'd say, half of that hour. 
just rag chewing here. And uh, things still putting out fine. I know it's not a great test, but at least gives you about an hour of a, a radio that's doesn't skimp on power use. It's like two amps an hour or two amps at uh, idle. And uh, and then I'm running a full hundred watts the whole time. Yeah, I just uh, hooked up my recorder again here and showing that it's still putting out a good hundred watts max and. Uh, just showing this for that's, that's about an hour's worth of time, and I figured we were talking quite a bit here. Yeah. Oh, and we did talk to the tech prepper. Sort of, I could hear him. You you heard him better than I did, but I think he's probably experimenting with his. Uh, did he say his antenna was at five uh, feet? Yeah, five foot above the ground. So most of his power is probably getting uh, just sucked up by the ground. So it's a pretty cool battery. Uh, pretty reasonably priced too off of Amazon. If it, if it ends up being a good battery, that'd be a great one. I actually bought this battery to, for my little fridge, uh, for my Forerunner when I go out, so I, had, so I don't use my radio battery. Uh, but it's always a backup and I do have solar for that. So uh, there'll be a link down below uh, to that battery and other stuff that I sell off of Amazon, that I have on my Amazon list there. And uh, I am a, I am an affiliate with Amazon. I do make a little bit of money. It's not a whole lot, but it does eventually here. It probably will help the, the channel. So please buy from that if you can. And if you don't, that's okay too. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit all so you get future videos. Everybody be safe. Uh, this is Chuck KK6USY from Ham Radio Adventures 73 all. And like I said, be safe. <laughs>